We ask you for anything. God, let us thank you for everything. God, God, let us thank you for this day that you have. Allow us to see God. God, thank you for the activities of our limb, God. God, thank you, oh God, for blessing us, oh God, to be able to make it into this space, to ultimately glorify your name, oh God, and to go higher in your name. For your word declares where two or three are gathered together in my name there i am in the mix god so here we are on one accord oh god i'm waiting on your arrival god allow us not to go any further until you penetrate the atmosphere oh god we invite you to have your way god we invite you oh god in this space in our hearts god we invite you oh god to have your way oh god Father, someone came today in expectation to be blessed. Someone came in expectation for a miracle, God. So, Father, here we are, God, asking, oh God, that you would do only what we know that you are able to do, oh God. For your word declares that you are able to do exceedingly and abundantly, God, above all that we can ask and or think of, God. Somebody came here, oh God, expecting to be healed. God, we believe that you are Jehovah Jireh. You are our provider, God. So we come calling on your name this evening, God. Asking God that you will touch us like only you can, God. Come in and penetrate the atmosphere, oh God. Have your way in the name of Jesus, God. Have your way this evening, God. God, we love you and we adore you, God. God, we worship you and we thank you, God. God, we need you, God. And we love you, God. Father, here we are, God, asking that you would touch us, God. Touch us like only you can, oh God. God, touch every performer this evening, God. God, touch everyone present in this space now in the name of Jesus, God. God, we adore you and we love you, God. God, we thank you for what you've already done, God. We thank you for that that you're getting ready to do in this place, God. Father, we love you. And we exalt your name. God, we pray all of these things in your darling son named Jesus. Amen and amen. Welcome to the Gospel Fest. Are y'all ready to have a time in the Lord this evening? First up, we'll hear from full gospel and then we'll transition appropriately. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Oh, we came to lift up the name of Jesus on today. Let me hear the sound of the praises and the worshipers in the room that came up to bless his name. Certainly the Lord is worthy to be praised. And we come to lift his name higher. Y'all come on out here. Come on and put your hands together. We come to lift the name of Jesus higher. Oh. Come on and put your hands together.
know his name. His name is wonderful. I know his name, you say. I know his name. Hey, hey. I know his name. His name. His name is wonderful. I know his name. Oh, and I know his name. I know his name. He is a mighty God. I know his name, you say. I know his name. Hey, hey. I know his name. I know his name, I know his name. He is the Prince of Peace. I know his name. I know his name, I know his name. He is the Prince of Peace. I know his name. His name, his name is wonderful. I know his name. You say. I know his name. Hey, yeah. I know his name. His name is wonderful. I know his name. Oh, and I know his name. I know his name. His name is mighty God. I know his name. You say. I know his name. Yeah. I know his name. He is the mighty God. I know. Oh, his name. and I know. I know his name, he is the Prince of Peace, I know his name, I know his name, I know his name, he is the Prince of Peace, I know Oh, and I will lift up your name, higher, I will lift up your name, higher, oh, great Jehovah, you are, you are wonderful, I will, I will lift up your name.
who's the one that healed you, who delivered you, who set you free. What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Call his name. Call his name. Call his name. Call his name. Oh, say Jesus. 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 Put your hands together. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy tonight. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, put those hands together. Do anybody know he's worthy? Anybody know he's worthy on this evening? Come on, from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, he yet alone is worthy. When I look back over my life and think of the things that God has done, when I look at my good days, how they outweigh my bad days, I can't help but not to complain because you don't know, but I know what God has done for me. At the name of Jesus, seek folk get well. At the name of Jesus, that name that is above every name. I don't know about you. Did anybody come to have a good time in the Lord? Come on, did anybody come to have a good time in the Lord? God is worthy, and he is worthy to be praised. Come on, give a hand clap for full gospel. Come on, you can do better than that. Give God a hand clap for full gospel for letting the Lord use them on tonight. I don't know about you, but I feel the glory and the power of God already in this place. Look at our neighbor to your left and right and say, we're going to have a good time in the Lord. We're going to have a good time in the Lord. Amen. We thank God for them, and we thank God for each and every one of you who came on tonight to our gospel fest. We want to thank every one of you. We have great artists here on tonight who is going to allow God to use them in a mighty way mighty, mighty way. And now we have the honor and the privilege to present our next artist for tonight, Miss Kenya Robson. Come on, put those hands together for her as she come on tonight. Praise the Lord, everybody. Put your hands together for the great God that we serve. Hallelujah. Let me let me turn down. For what? I'm here to turn up for Jesus. Anybody here to turn up for Jesus? Listen, those who forgot to come, those who didn't know to come, I want you to take your phones out and say, hey, meet me at the chapel. It's going down for Jesus right now. Because they already missed the first part of it. And that Jesus was already invited in this room. Can I get a witness? Invite more people to come out here and enjoy the Lord with us on tonight. Because we came to lift him up. This is gospel fest. We came to have a good time in him. Amen. While everybody's getting set up, I'm just going to do this little sound check real quick. Mm. Joy bells keep ringing in my soul. Oh, joy bells keep ringing in my soul. Joy bells. Joy bells, joy bells keep ringing in my soul. Anybody know it? You can sing it with me. Joy bells keep ringing in my soul. Oh, joy bells keep ringing in my soul. My soul, joy bells, joy bells, joy bells. Yes, Lord, keep ringing in my 
had to give him a praise while we were getting ready. It's a good thing to do. How many of you know and understand that we serve a great big God? He's beyond the box that we put him in sometimes. He is great and mighty. He is wonderful. He's bigger than we can ever imagine. So I want y'all to sing with me. If you can, stand on your feet. And we're about to, we're about to do this. We're about to rock the house for the Lord.
ever do like when y'all feeling that bass line? You feel like the bass player yourself. All the good time. <laughs> this part right here says,
got it. I see you. I see you, Joy. The victory I do said I've got the victory. I do said I've got the victory. I do said I've got the victory. Can't no devil in hell have your victory. He can't have your joy. Try to sing it like James Moore. Get thee behind up, cause victory, oh, 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 today is mine. Hey, joy is mine. Joy is mine. Joy, today is mine. Tell you what, I told to get thee behind, cause joy, I will have joy, I've got to have joy, joy, oh joy, today is, is mine. Come on and lift your hands and give him praise. If you have love, joy, peace, victory, victory over everything that the enemy has tried to come against you with. If you know that you will never be defeated because you serve a great big God. If you know that you will never be defeated because you have a mighty God in your life. Because you serve a risen Savior that will never leave you. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He will walk with you. He will talk with you. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Said, I love you. Yes, I do. Hallelujah. We have the victory. Thank you, Lord. And because we serve a God that is the greatest power. Woo, y'all going to have to help me because I'm excited for the Lord right now. And when I get excited, I don't hold nothing back. So I may not have a voice in a few minutes, but it's all good. As long as God gets all the glory. Hallelujah.
shall go in victory. No weapon for against me.
Y'all understand that the devil is going to lie to you every single day of your life. As long as you declare Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. As long as you try to walk with him and walk for him and go through your trials with the Lord on your side, the devil is going to tell you, you cannot do this. You cannot win. You cannot come up. You cannot rise up. But I'm here to declare to you today, if you didn't know it, you know it now. The devil is a bald face lie, a snagger tooth lie, a smooth food lie. Everything you can imagine, that's what he is. He is the father of lies. He is the father of lies. No good thing comes out of him. You better not believe what he says. I'm telling you, you better not. You are not defeated. You are victorious. You are a winner. You will live. Let go and let God have his way. And I live. 
Y'all having a good time in the Lord so far? I said, are you all having a good time in the Lord so far? Would you allow me to encourage you real quick? As a woman of God was ministering, she said that the devil is a liar and God be exalted. And I thought about on the story of the woman with the issue of blood. The Bible described it in such a fashion that the woman was plagued with this issue for 12 long consecutive years. And in spite of all, the Bible declares that the, that the woman went to many physicians. She went to many doctors, people who were specialized in the area that she was bound by. Uh, doctor after doctor, specialist after specialist told her uh, that she would not be able to heal from this issue. Uh, but the Bible goes as far as to say that the woman had an encounter with Jesus. And as Jesus traveled and journeyed on this side of heaven, the woman concluded that if I may just touch the hem of his garment. Is there anybody in the building that can attest that I've gone through some things? I've battled through some things. I know that I've been in a position where I felt like I was not going to make it. But David declared it like this. I will lift up my eyes from the hills which come in my help from all help coming from the Lord when it don't look good you still got to declare that the devil is a liar when it seems like it won't work in your favor the devil is a liar would you declare it over your life that I may be sick in my body but the devil is a liar I may not know where my next meal is going to come from, but the devil is a liar. Oh, you ought to open up your mouth and celebrate a true and a living God that can change the trajectory of your life. The Bible declares that the enemy comes marching to and from seeking who he may devour. And so you've got to guard up and get ready because he's going to try to penetrate things into your mind. Can I prophesy real quickly? He's going to tell you that you're not good enough. He's going to tell you that you're not worthy enough. But all you've got to do is tell him that God seen you fall like lightning fell from heaven and you belong under my feet. Yeah, yeah, I know you thought you was going to come to speculate and to get a performance, but God said that there's a healing in the atmosphere, and the Bible says that when two or three are gathered together in his name, there he is in the midst. When praises go up, that blessings got to come down. I don't know about you, but I've got to get mine. Next vocalist, be seated in the presence. Be seated in the name of God. Yeah, yeah, the next vocalist, none other than my brother, the Student Government Association President of the 2022 and 23 school year, Travion Jarrell Daniel. And as the Lord has instructed me, I want to be obedient to the Spirit because I believe that this is most likely the last time that he will grace this stage as an undergraduate student here at Wiley College. 
and I want to be obedient to the Holy Spirit. Travion, eyes have not seen. Travion, ears have not heard. Travion, neither have it entered into the hearts of others what God is going to do for you. God is getting ready to take you to newer and greater dimensions. Let him use you. For a moment, can I just pray over your life? God, as he graduate, lead him. God, as he graduate, guide him. God, open up doors that only you can open, God. Make ways that only you can make, God. Touch him from the top of his head to the sole of his feet, oh God. Hold him, God, in your arms like only you can, God. God, I thank you for his life. I thank you, God, that he's the lender and not the borrower. He's above and not beneath the head and not the tail, God. God, I thank you for his life. In the name of Jesus. Inamasote, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard that the enemy wants to take him now, God. But we pray for a fence of protection to guard him. In the name of Jesus, oh God. God, we thank you today, oh God. God, may you continue to bless and lead and guide him like only you can. God, we pray all of these things and your darling son named Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. How's everybody doing? Y'all all right? If you can, everybody just clap with us right here. The song just says, I will call upon the Lord. The Lord reigns. If you know it, just sing it with us. Everybody clap for us.
for new beginnings. I'm grateful that I can wake up in the morning and I can still use the activities of my limbs. I'm grateful that when I wake up, I can still see the sunrise and I can still look at the wall and know I can still see something. I can wake up and I can walk around. God is just that good that I don't even take the small stuff for granted like a lot of people do. Because he's great. Because he's good. I'm walking into a new chapter of life and I can boldly sing God is doing a new thing. He's doing a new thing. Anybody believe that? I had the pleasure of writing a song that just says that God is doing a new thing in you. God is doing a new thing in me. I believe that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard what the Lord has in store. Anybody believe that? Do you really believe it? Let's go. Thank you. 
unmissable, unmovable Sing Everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. If you have enjoyed yourself so far, can we put our hands together and give God some praise? Hallelujah. I told our students that I did not want to come in any formal fashion this evening. Uh, we believe here at Wiley College and especially in the chapel 
of this idea of a student laboratory. And so before we move any further, I want to give you all a chance to catch your breath. But we do want to do some acknowledgments of folks who are here uh, for extending yourselves and being part and sharing with our students uh, who have put this awesome evening together. Our members of our faculty and staff are here. Can we have you all stand, please, so we can, rec we can recognize you? All of our faculty and staff who are present. Amen and amen. We're grateful for you all this evening. All of our students who are here, do you all mind standing? All of our students. Excellent, excellent. We're grateful for you all. And lastly, any alumni of Wiley College, any alumni, you all mind standing to recognize you? Excellent, excellent. We are so grateful. As we're in the midst of this transition, as I was worshiping with you all, I thought about all that was going on in the world. We have uh, Beyonce who will be in concert this summer. And those tickets are gonna go for thousands of dollars. They've gone for thousands of dollars. And we have been invited this evening to a free event to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I thought I would get some help right there. If you can conceive the billions of dollars that will be raised for a woman, and this is no shade to her, she's a wonderful performer, a great singer. We give God thanks for her. But we have the opportunity to worship the God of our salvation this evening. And so as we welcome these next two ladies, I want you all to know that we have not uh, brought just anybody to Wiley College this evening. We have brought individuals with whom have performed and ministered to the masses. And we wanted to bring them here um, in this moment of acknowledgement. We want to thank God for our music director, uh, Mr. Julian Dean. We shared earlier that this was a student laboratory and he has put all of this together from our sound to even working with contracts, uh, realizing the, what it looks to get by way of publicity. We are so grateful, Julian, for all the work that you've put in in making this event possible. So as our next ministers come before you, uh, Miss Christina Bell and Miss Crystal Aiken, I want you all to pretend like you have spent thousands of dollars to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. When they ask you to stand, I want you to stand. When they want you to put your hands together, I want you to put those hands together. I don't care if you have to take off your wig, take off your shoes, whatever it takes to give the God that we serve some praise, I want you all to do that this evening. Amen? Amen. Come on. Uh, um, and have our host come back. We're going to ask Larry and Elijah to come and present our guest this evening. And man, let's give a hand clap for our Dean of Chapel, Dean Duffy. And man, I don't know about you, but we are going higher and higher in the Lord on tonight. Anybody just know that God is good and all the time God is good. We thank you, Miss Christina Bell, for being here and Miss Crystal Aiken for being here on tonight. Come on, y'all, put your hands together. Amen. We thank God for them. We thank God for them. We thank God for each and every one of you taking the time out to come on tonight just to give God the glory and the honor and the praise. Now, without further ado, we will have Miss Christina Bell come and takes to say, come on, put y'all's hands together for her as she come this time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wiley College! What's up? Well, the music was supposed to be playing, but I guess I'll talk. How y'all doing? Amen. To God be the glory for the things that he has done. I am so grateful to be here. Thank you all so much for inviting me here. I am tired, to God be the glory, but I'm here. Huh? And I'm going to sing like I'm not tired. Can I get this mic stand or no? 
Come on, we can go ahead and play that. Let's go. Y'all going to help me tonight? Come on, turn that all the way up. Let me hear it in the wedges down here. Come on, y'all, put your hands on it. I can't hear it up here. Come on, put your hands on it right there. Y'all know that one? Let's go. Let's go.
Thank you for being so good to me. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Thank you for being so good to me. 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 For being good to me, you can't tell it like me. Tell it, thank you for being good to me. It was all no goodness of my own. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Somebody say 
Just a few weeks ago, I was laid up in a hospital bed. And the next, I think it was on a Thursday, by that Sunday, I was back at church and I was worshiping and on the praise team and didn't nobody know. See, sometimes as, as singers and artists, people don't know what you're going through because here's the thing. I tell people this all of the time. When you're standing up here, some folk don't care nothing about what you've been through. They don't care that you've been going through hell and high water in school and at your job and with your mortgage or with your rent. They don't know what you've been going through, but we serve a God. We can talk to him anytime we want to because he's a comforter. He's a real good friend. I heard somebody say he's a friend to the friendless and he's a mother to the motherless. He's a father to the fatherless, yeah. Oh, but I know him to be a doctor in a sick room. I said I know him to be a doctor in a sick room. Oh, Lord, 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 yeah. You, Jesus. Come on, let's go, let's go. I know we didn't come here all night. Turn it down just a little bit. Can y'all hear it in the house? Somebody lift up a praise 
you know it, you can play it. Brought me through. Uh-huh. I'm living this moment because of you. Your grace and 
to keep me. I need your mercy and your grace. Lord, I need you more than ever. You promise never to forsake. I need the Anybody need them? Come on, talk back. Do anybody need them? Early in the morning, I need them. In the noon day, I need them. In the midnight hour, I need them. When I'm sick, I need them. When I'm down and out, I need them. When friends walk away, I need them. When friends step in, I need to anybody need the Lord on today. I need them. Your grace and mercy. Your grace and your mercy. Mercy woke me up this morning. Mercy started me on my way. If it had not been for your mercy, I would have been consumed. Your mercy are new every morning. Somebody give God praise for his mercy. Because surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Somebody, whoop. Somebody ought to give God praise for his mercy. You should have been sleeping in your grave. But God allowed you to be here. You shouldn't be where you are right now. But God allowed you to be here. We ought to give God praise for his mercy. I don't understand my praise. Woo! God don't understand my praise. I shouldn't be right here, Elijah. I should be sleeping in my grave. But if it had not been for... If it had not been for the Lord, who is on my side, they would have swallowed me up quick. But since you're here on tonight, I need somebody to open up their mouth and give God a shout of praise.
God, my God, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody, you don't, you don't understand your neighbor praise. You don't understand what your neighbor been through. But the Bible said, we have been made endure for a night. But joy shall come in the morning. We have to understand that no matter what we go through, we ought to give God praise for everything. I don't know about you, but can we get just a little bit of some dancing music? Some of y'all just been sitting there, and you don't understand what God has been. Come on, put those hands together. And give God praise. understand what they've been through. Their praise is meaningful. They have a reason of the praise. What's your reason? What's the reason why you praising God? All right, all right, we're going to go on, we're going to move on, we're going to move on, we're going to move on. Just look at our neighbor and just say, God is good. God is good. We, let's give a hand clap for praise with Miss Christina Bell. Come on, you can do better than that. Come on, give God a hand clap of praise for her. Amen. Thank you so much. We just have to understand, we do not know when our last day is going to be. But until that day come, we might as well give God praise. We might as well give God the glory, the honor, because he yet alone is worthy of the praise. I don't know about you, but God is good, and we thank you, each and every one of y'all, for coming on tonight. But without further ado, I would like to present... Our artist, our last artist for the night, who's going to come and we're going to know that the Lord's going to use her in a mighty way. Come on, can y'all give a hand clap of praise for Miss Crystal Akins? Come on, y'all can do better than put your hands together as she come on tonight. Good evening, y'all. How you doing tonight? I'm just so glad to be here and um, to be invited to Wiley College. Listen, you know, it's a blessing to be amongst the educated. And so I'm, I'm excited for y'all. And thank you for inviting me here to the dean and to the, the team and to the alum and to the staff. God bless y'all, to the college students. Um, I, I'm just a blessing to be here. You know, one thing when we come into church now that COVID is over, it's interesting. I watch, I watch us become numb again. So we still walk back in church and we get too comfortable that we won't applaud God. We won't move. We won't sing. We won't praise. We won't cartwheel until someone asks us and forget what he brought us through these last three years. And it is a challenge to command your body to bless the Lord, even when it doesn't feel like it, or even if the team isn't singing right or the band's not playing right. COVID was the challenge for the body of Christ to become detached from performance. And it was to challenge to see what the believers really were. And that means it didn't matter if you were being cheerleadered into praise. You came with the praise. 
You came with an I will bless the Lord on your lips. You came with a, an applause in your hand. You came with a dance in your faith. You, see, you came with your mind set on things which are above. You came ready to give him the honor and the glory. Do I have any people in here that are just grateful to the goodness of the Lord for the fact that he healed your body? and his own people he had to hold back his own wrath that he had for them and we do not want to be in a position y'all where he's holding back wrath because we fail to give him honor and glory and worship he is a jealous God and we can sing and we can play in church but God is not playing with us and the delay of his coming and the delay of his wrath does not mean he's not angry. And so people of God, you have got to get into a posture where you are not concerned about who's sitting next to you. You are not concerned about your situation. You are not concerned about all the stuff that becomes a distraction. The enemy's desire is to steal your joy. The enemy's desire is to be a thief in the middle of the... The enemy's desire is to steal your praise. But the worst thing you could do is to not give it when he deserves it. Let's not be allies of the enemy and not praise our Savior. Because that is an ally of the enemy to not praise your Savior. We should not wait until a concert or till church to give him what he deserves. Do I have any co any college students in here that know he's just been good to you? Come on, anyone know he's been faithful to you? Can you show some sign to the Father? Come on, can the redeemed of the Lord say they've been redeemed? Can the redeemed of the Lord say so? I shall bless him. I shall give him the honor and glory. I shall worship him. I will. out y'all that singing is fun but the word of God is even better and when you get an appetite for the word of God the Bible says when you read it in it you know you have life and that more abundantly matter of fact we know we have eternal life and the church isn't talking about it much anymore that we have a home in glory matter of fact we're just pilgrims passing through this is not our home family Millennials, this is not our home, and church isn't talking about it anymore, but this is not my home. The reason we teach you to abstain and to not do and to hold on and to leave him so you don't get tempted and leave her so you don't get tempted and all of these things is because there is a purpose that God has for you. And there is a way that seems right unto us. 
There's a way that seems easy unto us. There's a way that's fun unto us, but the end thereof is destruction. For narrow is, I don't know why I'm here tonight. But few find the way of the Lord. The Bible says he is the way, the truth, and the light. It's such good news. So you, if, we're, if you were thinking about taking your life tonight, can I tell you he is the life? And he is your life. And you have purpose for another day. I declare over your life tonight that there is a good hope for tomorrow. And if they're looking forward to just seeing him in peace, that's it. That's it for him today. Come on, that's it. Have an abundant life. That's it. Joy unspeakable, full of glory, the strength of the Lord. The Bible says that his grace is sufficient for us. But in times of weakness, his joy is my Anybody in here need a little bit more strength tonight? Come on, you can't do it by yourself. You need the strength of the Lord. Come on, he'll hold your hands up. That's what he'll do. Come on, he'll give you strength like no other. Come on, that's it. Strength like wings of an eagle. That's what he'll give you. Come on, I dare you to just grab a hold. Listen, one thing about God is when you do your part, he does his part. So if you'll just give him the honor, that's it. If you will go ahead and do your part and seek him, you'll find him. If you knock, he'll open the door. If you ask, he'll answer. That's the good news about God. He does respond when his people call him. That's what I love about God. He doesn't play games with us. He's a true God. Anybody need strength in here? Can we do this together? Listen, I, 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 I'm a praise and a worship leader. And, and I'm trying to find my way back into this artistry thing. It's, just, it's, it's a tough thing. But can we do this together and sing about the strength of God? I know I got vocalists in here. But if you know that he's your strength, can we pull on the God that will give you strength? Somebody needs help today. Somebody needs their head lifted today. You came in acting and faking like you're strong, but you're weak today. And so I dare you to stretch out your hand because he'll give it to you. Come on, that's it. Let's sing it together. Come on, where's my praise team in the audience? Come on, let's do this together.
last part it says this see your strength is reject your strength is reject your strength is reject it reaches to me can you help me right there see your strength is
grateful for your redemption? Anybody grateful for oh!
Listen, it's all right to close your eyes in this moment and just give him the glory. Come on, you don't need to look at me. I'll lead you as I feel led. But go ahead and give him the applause right here. Come on, that's it. Close your eyes and set your affections on things which are above. Come on, that's it. Set your affections on things that are lovely. Come on, that's it. Set your affections on things that are of a good report. Come on, set your affections on things that are just. Come on, that's it. Set your affections. Your flesh is getting exhausted. Your flesh is wanting entertainment. But I dare you if you will just dig and push a little further. Come on, that's it. I'll help you. Come on, that's it. Come on, that's it. You cannot get exhausted when you want something from the Lord. You cannot get exhausted when he deserves the honor. You cannot let your flesh determine what your soul and your spirit ought to continue to do. I will bless the Lord. That is with everything on the inside of me. Come on, that's it. If all you got is your mind, come on. Think on things that are above. Come on, that's it. Oh, we bless you. We love you. We honor you. We glorify you. We magnify you. Come on, God. We love you. We love you. We love you. Come on, that's it. Everything may not be going my way, but I know you still deserve it all because you're the God that will work out all things together for my good. So while you're working it out, I might as well give you the praise until. And until you do it, I'll still bless you. Until you heal me, I'll still bless you. And until you still work it out, I'll still bless you. Until you fix it, I'll still bless you. has been working on us in the area of exhaustion and fatigue and we are getting exhausted and too easily fatigued and tired we need to begin to get rest but the problem is we're keeping too much on our minds on our shoulders and in our hands he said if we cast our cares our worries our concerns our pains our family before him he will take he will carry it for you and this is why we're getting exhausted. We're worrying too much. Our mind can't rest. We're not getting sleep. And it leads to anger and it leads to frustration. It leads to cussing and fussing other people out. When the deal is you're not doing what you should be doing by giving him what he deserves. You're mad at somebody else when you see them rise all because you won't go low. But he wants to give you rest today if you'll just give him your concerns and your needs. The Bible says he will supply. There's no need to quote a word that we don't believe or apply. We're toting a Bible in our phones that we don't read nor apply. That means when we're in trying situations, we've got to pick up the book. We've got to read the book. We've got to understand the book, and then we've got to apply the book. Praise breaks will not get you into the kingdom of God. Let me be clear. We only praise because rocks cannot do it. But the Bible never said that praise gives us entrance. But the church has conditioned you to believe that if you praise, there's reward. My Bible declares that when there's obedience, there's reward. It's tight, but it's right. He said, if my people. He said, those that love me do whatsoever I command them. And instead of our hands being open, we should have our hands open. 
not in wanting, but in giving. Can the people of God slip your hands up right there to just give him what he deserves? Come on, that's it. Come on, now think of the things that he has done for you. Come on, that's it. What has he blessed you with? Come on, what has he kept you from? Woo. That's the good God that you serve. See, he sits high and looks low. And in things that you should have faced, he protected you. That's the good God that he is. He has the vantage point. He can see what you should be facing and move it and change the trajectory of your future and destiny and step in and give you a new future because the enemy is coming to attack your life. But God sees it and he moves it. This is a good place to be grateful and thankful. Because the Bible says this, if we seek him first, his righteousness then everything else will be added. We have a hard time fighting into this seeking space and just pressing and just pushing into it. Woo. Anyone need more? Can you just stretch your hands up right there for me? I promise I'm not here to give you church calisthenics. his name together Jesus 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 He's a great miracle wonder what's his name Jesus 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 He's a true one Jesus 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 Let's do this one he's able 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 The scripture says to keep you from falling he is Sweet Jesus, 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 Jesus,
Come on, this is the one. I know, no, no, you love the one says. See, I love you, yeah. I, I know you like this one. I worship Just one. Can you sing it right there? I worship. I worship at the door. Just want to tell you. Just want to tell you.
There's something about the name Jesus. Something about the name Jesus. Come on, you know it. Can we end with this? It is the Breakthrough can still happen tonight. I believe that we can still see miracles, signs, and wonders. So wherever you find yourself, if you need to be here at this altar as Miss Aiken leads us in this time of prayer, come to this altar. Allow God to speak. Allow God to move. Allow God to do something in your life that you can't do for yourself. Miss Aiken, let's go higher in God. Listen, family, we're going to get out of here. But is there anybody that has a need from the Lord tonight before we leave? Listen, right where you are, I was going to call you up, but I'll let you stay where you are. Listen, if you could just stretch your hands for those that have a need. Hmm.
Matter of fact, I just want those that do have a need. I feel like there was just a few of you. If you'll just come up here, come on, for those that have a need for real. From the Lord. You just need him to intervene. You need him to answer. You, you, you. says this, that when we have something that we want from the Lord, we have to come, first of all, recognizing that he's God, and then secondly, we recognize that he can do it, and then thirdly, we have to have faith that it will be done. And those are the three requirements, all right? We, we can ask, because we'll ask amiss, because we don't believe he'll do it. But this is the challenge for you is to look back at your Rolodex and look back at your memory lane and see what he's already done. This is his record for your faith, to know that he can do the impossible now. And so for those that have a, a concern or they have a petition before the Lord, if you can stretch your hands right up before the Lord, come on, let's just pray for the people that have come to this space right here. Father, we thank you. Ooh. God, it takes faith and vulnerability to come before you. And some of us are struggling even in our humility and vulnerability to just ask you for what we need because we're looking at our deeds, we're looking at our actions to count us out for getting what we need from you. But God, I'm asking right now that you'll put grace and mercy and apply it over these young people's lives, Father God, for each and every one that have a need before you, you see it, God. I'm asking that you'll meet it, God. Meet them where their faith is in the name of Jesus. God, I ask that you'll touch them in their dreams, in their visions, Father, at night. Father God, while their head is resting on the pillow, God, give them, God, understanding, answer, God, where they have questions and petitions, Father, comfort where they have loss and emptiness and brokenness right now, Father God, feel in the name of Jesus, Father God, supply in the name of Jesus, meet the financial need, Father God, meet the need in the name of Jesus, meet the need for their minds, Father God, for comfort in the name of Jesus, for peace in the name of Jesus, they stretch their hands out today for strength, give to them now in the name of Jesus to endure. And God, even if you are silent in this moment, let them still know that you're working while they pray. You are working while they cry. You are working while they travail. You are working while they are submitted. You are working while they pray. You are working in the name of Jesus. And let them know that even if they don't see you working, you're still working. God, that's just how good you are. And Late in the midnight hour, God is going to turn it around in your favor. He's going to work it out for you. Now listen, your past does not count you out. God, their past does not count them out. Matter of fact, their, their past qualifies them for the blessing that is on the way. That's it. The past qualifies them for the blessing that is on their way, God, in the name of Jesus. And we consider it done. And when you leave this place, you must give him thanksgiving, considering it answered, considering it done, considering it provided in the name of Jesus. Can the people in the audience give him the praise for the people that are standing here in the audience? That's it. For salvation in the name of Jesus. God, in the name of Jesus, I'm asking that you do it, God. Right now, God. Do it in the name of Jesus right now. Do it in the name of Jesus. Strengthen right now in the name of Jesus. Strengthen in the name of Jesus. Encourage in the name of Jesus right now, God. Lift in the name of Jesus. Supply comfort in the name of Jesus. Yes, let her know that you're right there with her in the name of Jesus. God, you can do it. You can do it. I believe you. God, you're going to do it. You're going to do it. And she's your child. And she's your daughter. God, in the name of Jesus, give her confidence to know. God, give her confidence and assurance to know, God, that she's your daughter. God, in the name of Jesus, right now, God, right now, pureness in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus. Let them put you first in the name of Jesus. Put him first in the name of Jesus. Put him first in the name of Jesus. God, in the name of Jesus, do it, God, right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Do it in the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus, do it for him. God, in the name of Jesus. We believe, we believe, we believe, we believe. We believe, we believe, and it shall be done. In the name of Jesus, and it shall be done. In the name of Jesus. Shall be done in the name of Jesus. Restore in the name of Jesus. Restore in the name of Jesus. She hasn't lost it all. You shall restore in the name of Jesus. Renew in the name of Jesus right now. He hasn't counted you out. He has encountered you out. Oh, you're strong for him. And he considers you strong for him. You have a work to be done in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Seek God for your purpose. Seek God because he has a plan for you. If you're in the background, can you just pray just for a little while longer? Come on, can you just pray for a little while longer? Whoa! Yes. Grace and mercy. 
mercy wrapped around us. And while you leave this building, just know that he's with you. He is with you always. He'll never leave you or forsake you. Continue to give him praise right here. Can you just give him an applause right here? Come on, can you give him the applause right here? Come on, can you give him the applause right here? Come on, can you give him the applause right here? Come on, I dare you to open up your mouth and just call on the name of Jesus. 